This is uh, really uh, the best uh, we played on the road this year. We uh, you know, had some bad turnovers in the first half. It was close. Second half, we eliminated the turnovers. We did a better job defensively. And our movement on offense was good. They doubled Rock every time, and he had to just be a passer. When uh, Tyler got off to a slow start, BJ has been shooting better in practice. And when Tyler got off to a slow start, defensively gave up a couple threes. Um, we knew they weren't going to guard that position. And, uh, you know, he didn't. He made just enough to kind of get us some space. And a couple in the first half, then that one in the second half to get it to 10, I think. Uh, you know, he's a very good shooter. And at least if he makes a few, they'll come out and play him. And then he can get the ball inside to rock. But... They doubled him, and you know Mike was uh, tremendous. Uh, Caleb is the one guy that they kind of people have been leaving open, and he's been hanging on the perimeter, so that when he got the ball back, he still had to go through somebody. He was he cut, made better cuts, got the ball 10, 12 feet, and he can make that shot. And then when the pick and roll, they stopped helping because they're worried about Rock coming back, and he got to the basket, turned the corner, really first time this year. And uh, he had a great second half. And I thought that uh, you know he and Mike really uh, were good in the second half. And Rock was pretty much just a decoy the way they were playing him. Uh, and uh, again, our defense was better. We kept their guards in front of us, but it was you know really the best we played on the road all year. No, no, he never shoots. He, that's one's what he usually takes. But uh, he's been shooting in practice. He's been a little more aggressive in practice the last week or two. Uh, BJ has as well. But I thought tonight he did a better job of just getting into the open areas. And, you know, nobody's guarding you. You've got to be able to get where you can get your shot. And uh, he hit a couple right away, and that I think that got him going. Right. This is the most anybody's doubled him. You know, he had a big game against him in Syracuse, and I don't think they did double him there. And you know, they were, so they decided that they were going to double him here today, and uh, that was the right thing uh, to do. You know, Trevor missed some open shots, and and BJ missed some open shots. There were, you know, he made like two in the first half, but he had five other wide open shots from the three point line and uh, but that's you know you I thought Rock was patient I thought he was good in terms of just I'm going to just try to get people open shots and uh, really he should have had more assists I guess they might have put on the floor or something but I mean they, he made a lot of passes out of those double teams that got guys good shots how do you feel your defense executed against Hamlin tonight we were better. We kept him in front of us a little bit better. We lost Brown twice in the first half. Robeson didn't come up twice. And after that, we did a better job. Brown's a, a tremendous shooter. I mean, you can't. He had, I think, five against us in Syracuse. He had five last game or so. I mean, you know, we Tyler didn't find him. And we did a better job after that of finding him, making him take tougher shots. and. We did a better job on Hanlon. He's real good. He got in the lane a few times, but we did a better job on him. And we wanted to force their big guys to shoot and, you know, try to, you know, stay back on them. They made a couple, but they didn't make enough. Coach, what's Benajay been doing so well over the past few games? You know, he's been playing good for a long time, really. And, uh, you know, he's, he's making his perimeter shot, and he's driving extremely well and hard to the basket and people are not going to help because they're going to stay with rock so he's going to get that lane to the basket and uh you know he's just he's just played well he's really played well for a long time he's really having a i think a, a tremendous year you know he's kind of overlooked a little bit but he's he's really statistically his numbers and what he's doing Pretty good. He made a couple of great defensive plays down there too. He knocked sure layups away. Just took knocked the ball away and sure sure layups really. What has Caleb's progression been like on the defensive? He was better tonight. 
he gets beats. They get by him, you know, sometimes. But he, I think he was a little better tonight. It's uh, It takes a while for a freshman. His biggest thing is his strength. He's got to get stronger. And uh, he's a hard worker. He will. He'll get stronger. He will work hard and get stronger. And he's a pretty good mid-range shooter. And I think he can eventually make threes in, in time. But... Other than a couple freshman point guards in the country, he's playing well. I mean, there's, he's, it's very difficult to come in as a freshman point guard and play in college basketball. It's not, not that easy. Defense. You know, our defense, we haven't forced any turnovers. We forced a few in the second half, but our transition game is only there on – when we get a deflection or a block, we got a couple blocks, we got a couple steals, and we're good then. We can run. We're, we don't get enough rebounds, clean rebounds, to really run off rebound situations. Um, we're a good transition team because we got guys that can handle it and can stop and shoot or get to the basket. But we just haven't been able to really get out much because, you know, teams are moving the ball and, you know, they're. We're not getting turnovers, as many as we have. We're still in the close to the top in the league in forcing turnovers. But, you know, when we get them, that's when we can get transition baskets. Why aren't you getting as many turnovers? Yeah, yeah our defense probably just isn't quite as good. We're not quite as big. We don't block as many shots. Um, you know, the last couple of years, you know, I mean, Michael Carter-Williams led the league in steals last year. Tyler Ennis led the league in steals. And, you know, those guys were exceptional. And, uh, you know, we don't get those those steals. We're still getting more than most teams, but we don't, you know, we're not getting as many. I don't think it's better. I think they're running neck and neck at the bottom of the scale of 1 to 10. No. This is a smaller team. They spread it out so his size doesn't hurt us as much. Quick round game question. Uh, I know that you never faced Jerry Tarkanian in the NCAA tournament. your No, in fact, I don't know. I don't know if we ever, if I ever coached against Jerry. He was a good friend of mine for a long time. As Roy Williams said, he was a very, very good basketball coach one of the very best, probably the best pressure defensive coach that I've ever seen. His teams came after you. Uh, they went after you, hard as any team in the country. His numbers are spectacular numbers. Um, he was a humble guy. He, every time I saw Jerry Tarkane, and he at the end of the scene, he said, you guys are unbelievable. I can't, and his team was 32 and two. And we were like 24 and 10. And he said, I can't believe you do that. What, what is, you know, he would do that. Oh, he did that every, almost every time I'd see him. Uh, he, people are different than their personas that the media cultivates. He's one of the humblest, nicest guys and one of the best coaches ever. And... Uh, I don't think people really know that. He was a great guy. He really was a great guy. He was a great basketball coach. I mean, he's he in my estimation, he's up there with a lot of guys that everybody puts up there. Jerry Tarkane uh, was a great basketball, not a good basketball coach. He was a great basketball coach.